All right, let's have a look at this deferred paper. I'm certainly not going to do it all tonight, but at least I can get a start on it. Okay, so question one here, solve the simultaneous equation. Um, what variable is in common to all three lines? Not x, potentially y, not z. So it has to be y. So you want to get the y's lined up. So I'll times that by seven and times that by seven. So I have seven x plus seven y equals 14. And then I have seven y plus 14 z equals seven eighty four, and then i have 5x plus 7y plus z equals 13. then i minus these two equations 7x minus nothing is 7x 7y minus 7y cancel nothing minus 14z is minus 14z and then 14 minus 84 is minus 70. then i minus these two nothing minus 5x is minus 5x 7y minus 7y is gone, and 14z minus z is 13z, and then 84 minus 13 is 71. Now, I could divide this by 7, and that would give me x, but then maybe I should multiply it by 5, divide by 7 and multiply by 5, so that would give me 5x minus 10z equals divide by 7 is minus 10, so that's minus 50. And then the second equation is minus 5x plus 13z equals 71. I add these together now and I get 3z equals 21. So I get z equals 7. And then I can sub that back in wherever here to get x. So then let me see, that would be minus 50 plus 10z. That would be minus 50 plus 70 is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4. And then um, x plus y equals 2. So if x is 4, then y has to equal minus 2. So let me check the answers here. Okay. Correct, correct, and correct.